It was uh, 2012 on Valentine's Day, the 14th. And he told me I was stage four and that I had it everywhere. It started in my pancreas. I had it in my lungs, my stomach, my spine, my bones, you know. He said it, I was stage four. It was in 90% of my body. It used to be having a pancreatic cancer diagnosis often meant you only had a few weeks or months to live. But doctors at Community Regional Medical Center are working to change that. So, you know, we asked him how much time, and Dr. Chaudhary told me, no, I can't answer that. He says, but if you're willing, he said, to track it aggressively with me, he goes, I would like to do that. And I said, hey, yeah, when? When do we start? I told him, and he said, as soon as possible. I have people whom I have diagnosed uh, with very early stage pancreatic cancer, with stage one disease, and they have survived. They're, they've done, gone on to do their day-to-day -day life. And I have on the other side of the um, story, people who have had stage four disease or very advanced disease surviving more than three years. We are helping people to live longer. So I started the following week and uh, we attacked aggressively and we started and after four rounds of chemo, they rescanned me and 85% of the cancer was gone. My tumor has shrunk from four centimeters down to two centimeters. Technology and everything is just, you know, amazing. We have been very fortunate that over eight years that we have developed a program that not only has the skilled manpower, but also has the technology and the equipment in order to make those diagnoses. The endoscopes or the black tubes with the camera as well, the, it has an ultrasound probe. We get into the stomach and look at the pancreas. That is the closest proximity to the pancreas we can get to from the GI tract and, and that has helped us phenomenally in diagnosing early cases of pancreatic cancer. And they use the cyber knife. And I had heard about the cyber knife and when Dr. Chaudhary explained it to me, he told me it won't affect your other organs, and so the Simon Knife was also a success. It's a totally a team effort, a multidisciplinary approach. Whatever is offered elsewhere in the country, be it uh, Mayo Clinic or Cleveland Clinic, or if you go to Harvard, the same technology or the same stents, same uh, expertise is used here, right here in Fresno, in Community Region Medical Center. We have been fortunate that we have had a system that supports us and we have been fortunate that we have skilled people around us and we have been also been fortunate to get the core group of people who share the same vision to get the same outcomes in terms of patient care. There are so many resources there. I mean, they helped me from the get-go from financial help. If I needed to get picked up to get to my treatments, I mean, just everything and in anything. Dr. Kundu, Dr. Chaudhary say, it is a miracle. I would always tell them, you know, it's in God's hands, you know, and he's guided me here to you. I know that they were so passionate about what they were doing, and they are, you know, that they would go to any lengths to do what they can for you. <laughs> I love my job, I have passion for it. It is very hard to give a diagnosis of cancer, but it's uh, at the other end, it is nice to at least help people. We are very geared to be very patient-centric, and we want to give people empathy besides medicine. And if we can convey empathy and we can do what we do in terms of technical skills, I think we do what we are supposed to do, that is heal. People with difficult diseases must not lose hope. I always believe where there's hope, there's life. Make a gift today to help more patients like Ophelia beat the odds of cancer.